Did you recently get a red light and you're trying to figure out how to actually use the red light? In this video, I wanna walk you through how you can actually use a red light, what areas red lights work on, and how long you should be doing it every single day. And if you haven't yet, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. Let's dive into it. Red light, as I've said in the other videos in this series, is one of the most easy to use health hacks that you can do every single day. So why not figure out which areas that you should actually be using red light on? I'm gonna walk you through my top five areas for using the red light because these areas are areas that I think not only can be most beneficially impacted by it, but the ones that are pretty easy to also make sure that you can get in daily. Number one is the thyroid. So red light actually helps with cytokine from C oxidase, and it's going to help to make sure that you can clear that nasty iron that is making your thyroid not work properly. So red light on the thyroid for five to 10 minutes is one of my favorite ways to go to sleep at night to calm down the body and to help improve the metabolism overall. Area number two is actually for men, the testes. By using red light on the testes, you can actually increase testosterone pretty dramatically. I'm gonna link a study below. But this is an area that it should be pretty easy to do while you're reading, while you're hanging out, while you're working, while you're doing whatever it is. Maybe don't do it at work if you work in an office. But if you work at home, that's fine. Anyways, by using red light on the testes, you can increase testosterone, which is going to help overall with your hormonal balance. Area number three is anywhere that you actually are having pain. I use red light anytime I'm sore, stiff. I feel like an area is not doing too well because I know that the red light is going to help with calming down that area, making sure that the fascia and the muscles can relax and allowing for that range of mobility to come back. Area number four is going to be one that you probably didn't didn't think that you could use red light, and that's your eyes. Yeah, you can actually use red light on your eyes to help increase your vision, not decrease like everyone says when you look at bright light. That's mostly because the amount of light that you're getting to the eyes, but also the spectrums that you're getting. So red light can actually help ensure that your eye health is good. And number five is less of an area, but a way to use the red light, which is do it on your whole body, put it behind you as you work, put it in front of you, just let the red light sit on you 10, 20 minutes a day, and you're going to feel the work of de-stressing happen during the time that you get that red light and even after it. So that's one of my favorite ways to use it as well, is just letting it sit on me, not being too specific about the area, you know, maybe three to five feet away from me, but it's getting the whole room and I'm basically bathing in that red light. So that's how I love to use red light therapy every single day. Drop below in the comments how you like to use red light therapy. Otherwise, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future.